you've ever charged a customer sales tax when you shouldn't have, you probably learned that correcting the mistake can be tricky. One of the common mistakes that I see people make is they'll enter a new invoice for the adjustment and they'll just come down to the sales tax field and put in a negative amount for however much the correction needs to be. Now, that'll look fine to the customer and their balance will be correct but you're still going to be left with several problems because now your actual sales tax collections and the sales tax liability account won't agree with your taxable or exempt sales report. So you don't want to do that. Another thing that people will often do is they'll just come up here and put in a line item and maybe they'll enter a description of credit for sales tax and then they'll put in a negative line item for the amount. Well now in addition to basic problems you had before you've also messed up your income account because you've just taken that sales tax out of your income. So you don't want to do that either. So what should you do? Well to really fix the problem you need to increase your exempt sales decrease your taxable sales, reduce your sales tax liability, and reduce the customer's balance, all while leaving your overall income unchanged. The only good way to do all of that is to issue a taxable credit in the amount of the original sale and re-invoice it as an exempt sale. There are a few different ways you can approach that depending on your exact situation, but here's the most common method. Now you could do a separate credit memo and an invoice, but I like to do it all on one transaction because I think it reduces the opportunity for, for errors or for, for leaving out a step. So if you start a new invoice to the customer and you can just give it an invoice number, maybe use the original number and ADJ for adjustment. And then you're going to come down to the line items and you're going to put in negative lines that otherwise match the original lines of the invoice. So if you were using quantities and items you would put in a negative quantity and select the same items as you originally used and so putting in a negative quantity will result in a negative line. Never ever use a positive quantity with a unit price or you'll just create even more problems. Or if you're not using items and, and quantities you can just put in a description and then put in a negative dollar amount there. So then next you want to come in and re-enter those lines using positive amounts but you need to set the tax to exempt. You do the same thing if you're not using the items. So now you can see that since all of these lines balance each other out, all that we're left with on the invoice is a credit for the sales tax. Now if you had a really long or complex invoice, you might not want to go through the process of re-entering all the lines. So if the customer is never going to see this adjusting invoice, you could summarize it and you put in a description so that you'll know what you did here and then put in a negative line that's taxable and then an exempt line for the total amount of the sales and you'll see that we're still left with just the amount of the sales tax as our credit. So you would summarize the total amount, do a negative line and a positive line, and make sure that you use the same income account on both of them so it'll wash out on your general ledger. Now as I said before, I prefer to do it all on one transaction, but in the case of where you have invoiced someone using the wrong sales tax code, you will want to break it up onto two. So in that case, 
you would start a new invoice and credit all the items that were on the original invoice. Then save it and go into maintain customers. Pull up their record and correct their default sales tax code so you don't continue to have the problem in the future. When you save that, then you can go back to invoicing and now you can re-invoice it using the corrected sales tax code. So if you follow those methods, when you get down to the end of the month and you run your taxable exempt sales reports, so you can file your, your sales taxes, you won't have any problems reconciling your, your tax withheld, your taxable sales exempt sales with your income and your sales tax 